unless you're going for a long job internship you don't really need to put your long jump medal on there hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is timmy and i talk about faith lifestyle and a bunch of other stuff that i inspire i feel like to speak about if you're new to my channel and you've never seen this face before make sure to subscribe i know you want to subscribe welcome but well, not welcome back welcome without the back because you know you're new so just go ahead and click that red button it's free so just subscribe and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up at the end of the day i'm not going to include you but share send it to your mom send it to your dad send it to your auntie your uncle anybody that might need this video make sure you just share the video okay okay so today's video is actually um going to be one in so you can see some videos that are like backdated like the way like that that were filmed before this video but then i decided to film this one because i felt like it would be really good to keep up the series that i just started about like internships and basically getting work experience so today's video is going to be me sharing the tips and tricks that i have to getting the best internship or to landing your dream internship basically so if you watch my previous videos, you'd see that I actually interned in the hospital over the summer and it was a fantastic experience. I shared my video like detailing my last day and I have another video over like stuff that I put in my work bag. So this video is actually going to be me telling y'all, me um, explaining to y'all how I was able to get my internship. And this video is coming right on time because guess what? It's internship season, okay? Many internships are actually just now about to open up. Many internships are about to start taking applications. Many internships are now just about to start putting out their applications. So this is actually prime time if you are desiring an internship to like start thinking about what you want to do, where you want to go, all of that good stuff, okay? So keep watching this video to see how to land your dream internship, okay? So it's my goal to keep this video as short and sweet as possible, okay? I want to get straight to the point and I want to make it easy and relatable so that you're able to follow the instructions and land your dream internship. So what I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna provide like a brief summary of what I've said down in the description box below so you can always like refer to it, you can always like, you know, go back to it and you have it as a resource for as long as you need. I'm going to talk about some of the benefits of applying to an internship. And this is for all of your naysayers, okay, that are not really sure if you want to pursue an internship, you're not really sure if you want to go for it, all of that good stuff. Sit down and listen very good, okay? Listen to the benefits of you actually having an internship. Now, what's an internship? An internship is a program that you get into before you graduate, so that's before you finish your undergraduate years. It's actually like work experience, and I know in Nigeria we call it IT. But it's basically the same thing gaining experience before you graduate and i'm going to talk about three benefits that i have found from my internship that i believe would be beneficial to you so the first benefit i'm going to talk about is for all of y'all that are going into careers in like healthcare computer science engineering and it's, honestly i think this low-key applies to like any career if you're trying to pursue um i feel like work experience is way different from what you're being taught in class i have this theory yeah, that college teaches you stuff yeah like university you learn you learn things you learn like you learn how to you know you learn a lot of stuff theory wise but i feel like university mostly teaches you how to be a student and how to get work done in a deadline like it teaches you work ethic if that makes sense well i don't know if it's a really work ethic but i think university teaches you more how to like how to get things done on a schedule, how to get things, like how to plan. It just helps you mature. Now, I feel like the major experience that you're going to get at any job is going to be stuff that you learn on the job. What do I mean by this? So as a student, I go to clinicals and I go to the hospital every now and then. So usually clinicals, will be like maybe once or twice a week for a couple of hours. But a lot of things that you're going to need like once you actually get into the career once you get become a nurse or you become a doctor or you become a pt whatever most of those things that you're going to learn like you're going to discover on your first day that it's almost like you didn't learn anything and it's almost like you didn't you don't know anything because the practical experience that you get in the hospital from going to the hospital every day from going to that job every day from going to like going to your job as a computer scientist every day is totally different from what you're learning in class. So
so it just helps you to be like a step ahead when you do eventually get that dream job to be more prepared and you're able to stand out better and many of the things that other people are going to struggle with in terms of like not knowing what to do not knowing how to like perform a certain skill or a certain task you're going to be way ahead of them in that sense because you're already going to be like familiar with those things you also get to see if you actually like that thing so like i know a lot of people like especially if you're nigerian and you're watching this you know there's three careers that you can be a career career in that country there's one be a doctor be a lawyer or you're an engineer like there's three <laughs> three careers that you can have or you can function in whatever and outside of that there's not really a lot of things to pursue so sometimes many of us are pursuing careers that we feel like we want and we don't realize that there are things that have actually like been enforced on us or they've been like you know forced kind of in a sense to be manipulated into believing this is what we want an internship is going to help you because it's going to be a reality check you're going to go into that hospital or go into that job and realize oh my gosh this is not what i want to do and that can be scary but I think I would I would prefer to discover that maybe like in my first year of college, if I second year of college and to have been done with school and to have the whole degree and realize like I don't even like doing this thing. Getting an internship is going to give you the opportunity to specialize. So many internship programs actually do have specialty and I know this is not even just limited to just healthcare professions. This is widespread. Like I have friends who did like who are like commercial what you call a commercial student who study economics or who study like accounting and they work for banks like Goldman Sachs or they work for Bank of America and they have different departments like they have investment banking they have like I don't know all the stuff these internships will give you the opportunity to see if this specialty is what you want to do or if this department is what you want to work in you get to see like because I remember when I was like last year I had a specialty in mind I had two specialties in mind I was like okay it's either this or this and then now that i've gotten the opportunity to do both i realized oh <laughs> one of the two was like not <laughs> going to be the best for me like i wouldn't have been able to handle it as well as i would have thought and i would have not been able to know that if i didn't have the internship that i had if you get a good internship yeah like especially nursing and all those things like you're going to get the opportunity some of these programs give you the opportunity to rotate so you even get to do all the specialties and you get to see what each and every single one of them entails because let's be honest like different floors are different different specialties are different they all require different tasks different type of knowledge different type of assessment so getting into this internship will help you like kind of get familiar with that and see if this is actually what you want your resume your resume your whatever you want to call it your cv Whatever you want to call it, it's great for your resume and it gives you an upper hand because when you eventually do get on the job market, the job, English is hard. <laughs> when you eventually get on the job market, you're a step ahead of other people because you already have all the experience. When you're at the interviews, because a lot of these interviews are actually like scenario based, they'll be asking you things like when was the time when you um, maybe had a difficult patient when was a time when you had this problem and you had to solve it like you had to use your problem your critical thinking and instead of lying now you actually have experience and you can actually talk about some of the things that you've dealt with and that gives you an upper hand like they can tell that you've had experience and if I was an employer just saying I would you know want to give an opportunity to somebody like that because I know that they are at least familiar and you they have the raw materials that you can work with get this many internships actually will be can be a stepping stone to you actually getting a full-time offer i have several friends who did internships in their sophomore years their junior years and now in their before they've even completed their senior years they already have a full-time job to go to once they graduate that's a huge deal because you don't pay for no job you don't have to be on the job market sending people emails and getting rejection offers like you can still put out more applications of course if you want but you have one secured in the bag like you have a place that you can say you can go to once you graduate and i think that is amazing and i'm so proud of them because it's a testament to who they are and the work that they've done so if you're watching this shout out to you okay for getting your full-time offer i love you all and i'm so proud of you number one tip is going to be start searching early the ideal time to start setting searching for internships is now which is why i'm actually making this video 
um, I'm breaking the transition of all the videos I've filmed before to film this because I feel like this would be more important and this is like more appropriate for the season we're in now. Search for like, and you can literally just type it into Google, whatever you want. Just look up Google, type in, um, say you're a computer science major, type in computer science internships 2020, 2022, summer 2022. And get this, most of these internships are paid opportunities. So you can actually search based on what kind of money you want what city you want to go to say you want to go to dallas you want to go to new jersey you want to go to maryland whatever you want make sure you put it in the search box and there are so many options so that's the benefit of starting early you're able to meet up with the deadlines and you're able to basically get the early cash. please do not allow something that doesn't know you write a letter of recommendation those things are actually important these people actually read them and they go through these things so make sure the person that is writing your rec letter actually knows you and knows who you are knows like what you've done knows your achievements and feel free to send them your resume so they know what you've done and they can include that in your letter of recommendation as well the second tip i'm going to give you is to apply to as many as possible see there's no such thing because these applications are free homie okay they're free you can apply to as many as you want you can apply to as many positions as you want you can do whatever you want apply to as many as possible you can make yourself do this it's a little spreadsheet and apply to like 10 15 i know that sounds like a lot but think about it like think about the fact that some of these people um some of these um positions you're applying to like different units you're applying to different positions like investment banking all of the other bankings that you have <laughs> you have like different units so spread your wings apply to different cities and there's a city that has been on your bucket list to go to try find an internship in that city applying to as many as possible gives you a wide range of pick so even if you don't get into this one you can possibly get into the other one the third thing i'm going to talk about is linkedin and if you don't have a linkedin profile by now what are you doing and linkedin is like your professional your professional it's like it's like instagram but for your professional life so it helps you to get in touch with recruiters and it helps you to get in touch with people that could possibly have been a part of that internship before and this is a great resource because like i said you can talk to people that have maybe gone through the program before and they can tell you the, the specific things that you did to get in they can tell you how they wrote their letters they can read your resume they can read your letters of recommendation they can read your um, maybe like essays if maybe the internship has an essay prompt they can always go through all those things and see those things and vet them for you second thing about linkedin is if you don't already know you need to be following the recruiters that are recruiting the students for these internships okay so when you show up to the interview somehow some way somewhere if they've accepted your request they already know that name and it helps because think about the fact that they're interviewing tons of people they're going through tons of applications if a name is familiar if it stands out to them they're more likely to click on it and be like hmm who's this person what they have to offer where they from you want to make sure that you follow them on linkedin and whenever you have like an achievement whenever you have like a milestone or certification post it on your linkedin don't just be posting cute pictures i mean post cute pictures if you're cute you know but like don't just be posting this stuff on your social media life also post stuff on your professional like social media which is your linkedin so create a good profile make sure you have a nice picture not a corny little selfie that you took in the back of your car don't do that look for a nice background and take a professional picture put in a nice shirt, a dress shirt and look cute and take your picture not a selfie time to set, set your camera let it do self timer and let it take your picture for your linkedin and make a good profile for yourself i'm going to look up a couple of articles about creating a good linkedin profile i'm going to put them in the description box down below for y'all so you can take a look at it and um give it a good look and go through it and follow the instructions back piggybacking off of this is basically just selling yourself and this is your resume your resume unless you're going for a long job internship you don't really need to put your long jump medal on there first off your resume should not be longer than one page unless you won maybe like a golden or a Nobel peace prize or something your resume should not be longer than one page there are certain ways to format your resume to make sure that you fit everything that's important on there and remember i said what's important say with me what's important so make sure that your resume has the important stuff 
if you're applying for an internship that require that is like maybe like a system analyst or like a coder i don't know what they call them or like a coder put experience that relates to the job <laughs> the second to the last point is going to be involve your friends i if my friends are watching this i love you guys so much and you guys rock so my friends were really pivotal to all these things like we would all like get on google and look for internships and like have a we, i think we had two things we had an apple like in apple notes that they say apple notes iphone notes whatever apple notes iphone notes that had like internship and the links and the deadlines like we had organized it and then we were always sending each other emails when we would find opportunities like this is the internship this is the link this deadline blah blah blah, blah. And the best part of it is that when you're discouraged or you're tired, your friends can be like, no, we got this, we have to do this, we have a goal, and you guys can pursue your goals together. Okay, one head is good, one head is important, but two head is important. So if you can have someone that is, can be there for you and that can support you, have a friend, the sky is big enough for everybody to fly. You don't have to be hoarding information and hoarding opportunities everybody can get the opportunity to fly me and my roommate actually got into the exact same internship and we, were, we both thrived in our different units there's nothing wrong with sharing the information with your friend and sharing information you find about internships two is better together bible tells us that the two people two heads are better than one for they have a greater reward for their labor you get why so involve your friends involve your your guys and you guys should pursue and chase the bag together you don't have to do it by yourself okay because if you are there flying in the sky high alone you are still going to be alone alone and successful is not as good as together and successful now my final point or my final tip is to follow god's leading and to trust god's leading i'm a christian i'm a believer and i strongly believe that everything i was able to achieve my internships the opportunity i was opportunities i was able to come across how i was able to do things they, they were like very supernatural so i prayed about my internships i prayed about who my pre i prayed about my preceptor i prayed about my preceptor and when i got there my preceptor was everything i had prayed for and more i prayed about the unit i was supposed to be on i actually had two internships i was considering and one where my heart was kind of leaning more towards but then when i started to consider other things i decided to go with the other one and that one ended up being the one i went to ended up being the best decision i could have made so trust god's leading pray about it and keep an open mind okay so that whenever he's nudging you in a certain direction that is not exactly what you want you would be open to pursuing it and you would you would find at the end of the day that it's, it was the best decision you could have made at least that was my that was my testimony and i really hope and pray that that's your testimony too so all that being said like i said before i'm going to link i'm going to put in the description box some links i feel like will be helpful for you as you pursue your internship and as you go on to chase them um i'm going to post links that will be helpful links about linkedin links about resume writing links about all that good stuff that can help augment you and that can help put you in the best position to get your dream internship and please don't keep this video to yourself share with your friends that are pursuing internships you all watch it together learn a couple of things and feel free to follow me on instagram and what other app do i use follow me on instagram i don't really be on twitter like that if you have any questions about anything i've said anything i've explained succeed together so if you have any questions have any of those things have any comments you can drop them in the comment section down below and follow me on instagram and shoot me a dm Whew. that was a lot of talking <laughs> I really hope that this video has helped one person or two people and I am wishing you all the best as you go to apply on for internship season and make sure to tune in every Sunday for a new video and I guess that's all I have to say today <laughs> I didn't even wake up today guys because I was looking like somebody beat me up so I just had to come and look kind of presentable for you guys thank you for watching <laughs> thank you for watching the video thank you for if you stayed this long you're a real G peace Enjoy your day. Stay unproblematic, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Bye.